Hey guys, this is Brian for TweetTown.com, and while we were on the show floor at CES, we made sure to pop by the Sennheiser booth as rumors of the Project Orpheus $55,000 headphones third around, and we definitely wanted a chance to check those out. But they had a quite a few things there. Sennheiser is following the trend of VR everything at CES, but I'd say in a much less trivial way than a lot of other companies. They're tackling what they do best audio, but doing so in three dimensions. Their MBL 3D audio technology has four components to it capturing, mixing, processing, and listening. Their goal is to bring all of these together to increase the immersiveness and positional sound quality in VR and other applications. For capturing, they showed off a new 3D microphone which can capture audio in four different directions. It's a cool looking cluster of microphones. After recording through it, they have their own proprietary algorithm which they can run the audio through to process unique, specific 3D acoustics of a given area. One application they demoed used a pair of Sennheiser headphones with special head tracking sensors in it and they went around to several very famous music venues and used their special mic to record there and then analyzed it with their software. They can then help artists hear exactly what their music will sound like from the house floor of said venue so they can tune their sound perfectly for that performance. Listening to your favorite song through a DAC with headphones sounds completely different than doing so at a live concert in a world famous venue. It was pretty cool moving from venue to venue, turning on and off the filter. When moving your head around you actually got the sensation you were in a large 600 person concert hall. It really had a depth and breadth that you just don't get from a standard stereo recording. They also had a gaming focused demo which utilized the Oculus Rift along with their proprietary 3D sound rendering engine to help create what they think will lead the future of 3D sound in VR and augmented reality. Another newly released product they showed off was the HD800S which is a newer version of the classic HD800. The older model has retailed for around $1500 for a while now and we'll see a price drop to around $1200 with the new model coming out at the $1700 mark. But before you take advantage of that $300 price drop on the HD800, note that the HD800S does have an updated sound signature with noticeably more low end while maintaining its overall natural signature that the open back headphones have best been known for. Their new absorber technology should help overcome what some tend to call the Sennheiser Veil which makes it hard to hear higher frequency details when high volume mids and lows are being driven at the exact same time. It sports two different connection types, an XLR4 balance cable and a 6.3mm jack. The drivers are 56mm transducers, it has a 300 ohm impedance so you definitely need something pretty powerful to drive it. The frequency range is from 4 to 51,000 hertz so that is very wide. And they're actually a fairly substantial weighty headphone coming in at 330 grams. So then there was the creme de la creme, the piece de resistance which is Project Orpheus. These are a $55,000 handcrafted pair of headphones and audio interface combo. We didn't get a private appointment to listen to them, but got slotted in in a general press time slot. But Jeff and I were just really super excited to have the chance to give them a listen. The term high quality doesn't begin to describe this listening experience. When my chance arrived to listen, I kind of just melted into the chair close my eyes and imagine the mansion I'd have to own if I had anywhere near enough money to buy a pair of these. The sound was super clean and the sound stage just felt like I could get up and walk around and high five the Eagles during their recording session. I don't have a golden ear or anything like that and I've never listened to Hotel California from a super high bitrate audio file grade file and interface before, but I can definitely say that this was the best sounding headphones that I've ever had the pleasure of listening to and I'd love the opportunity to listen to them again. So that's all we had time to check out at the Sennheiser booth. Let us know what you thought of the Orpheus, the HD 800 S's and their new 3D slash VR audio tech in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and visit tweaktown.com for more CES coverage and all the latest breaking tech news. See you guys in the next video.